When you first load Cubase 9, one of the things you're going to notice right away is that some of the controls and toolbars have been rearranged a little bit. So before we get too far into the program, let's talk about the toolbars and the controls and the reasons why they were repositioned. So let's start with the top toolbar. You'll see that a lot of the features in this toolbar are the same as you have seen in previous versions of Cubase. However, now instead of starting from the left and going to the right, a lot of the controls are more in the center of the screen. So instead of having to draw your eyes diagonally from the arrange window where you spend so much time all the way to the left hand of the toolbar, now they're all in the center. And you can see that some of the things have been removed like the transport controls. So if you wanted to configure this toolbar to contain the controls that you want to have available to you, you can come over to this little gearbox button, and that's the setup toolbar button. When you click on that, then you can see all of the things that you can add to the toolbar. For example, if you wanted the transport buttons, let's click on that, and now you see that the transport buttons are back in the toolbar. If we wanted to add the performance meter, then we can select that here, and now you'll see that we have all the controls we did have, plus the transport and performance meter. So if you have a little bit more screen real estate and you wanted to fill it up with some more controls, that's how to do it, and you can always get back to the factory defaults by clicking the Setup Toolbars button, then come down here and click on the default setting. And next, let's move on to the transport controls.